Hi, my name is Natalie Ledwell, and today I'd like to share with you how to visualize yourself wealthy when maybe you're broke. So have you ever been caught in a heavy fog on your way to a new place? You know, the roads are unfamiliar, the road signs are difficult to read, and other cars seem to be appearing in an instant. So what do we do? We drive more slowly, we grip the wheel a little bit tighter, and we squint into the white haze. So for many of us, the journey to wealth is very similar to driving on that foggy road. And all we can see is a very short section in front of us. The future is unknown and the past is already a blur. So our focus is fixated on the short term rather than the destination. And we're hoping that, uh, that we're even on the right road. However, most of the time, the fog associated with manifesting wealth and abundance isn't real. And it's manufactured by our own brains. So to help you visualize yourself wealthy and abundant, even when you're still trying to survive, try implementing these three tips. Tip number one, focus on the feeling. So do you feel anxious every time you write a check? Or does guilt creep up on you when you buy yourself something new? But when you dream of increased wealth, the first thing that you think about is how to spend the money. You dream of what the new fashions you're gonna buy or the gadgets that you'll buy where you'll travel first and how many bedrooms your seaside mansion will have. So next time you need to pay a bill, try doing it when you're in a good mood or just after a great workout or after someone gives you a gift or a compliment. Changing your emotional state when you're dealing with money will change the way that you feel about wealth and ultimately attract more money to you. Now my friend Ken Honda has a new book out, it's called Happy Money. And I saw him talk the other day, and he talked about how important it is for us to, when we're receiving money and when we're giving money out, that we're thankful and grateful in both, both moments. So he's Japanese, and he says, arigato when the money comes in, and arigato when the money goes out. So for you, what I recommend is that every time you write a check, you have to pay a bill, you know, be in a state of gratitude that you can pay the bill. For some people, they don't have electricity. They don't have the TV, like 50,000 channels on the TV, but you do. So be grateful when you're paying those bills. I have a girlfriend of mine that puts little love hearts on the checks just to, to infuse it with a happy and positive vibration. And when you have happy money, what happens is that a lot of more happy money is coming in, so you're attracting more of it into your life. So the vibration of our emotions when we're dealing with money is imperative. So make sure that you're in a high vibration at all times. Okay, so tip number two is focus on the openings, not the obstacles. So when you're on that road and other drivers can swerve in front of you or they can slam on their brakes, they could be obstructing you. But if you remain focused on the cars that are blocking your way, then you'll fail to notice the open spaces to get through. What we need to do is focus on those open spaces. This reminds me of a story, I was at a Tony Robbins event and this is years ago, this is in my 20s, but what was, this story really stuck with me. And he was talking about how he was um, getting a lesson on learning how to race, race a car. And the guy that was teaching him said to him, whenever you come around a turn, you don't want to look at the wall. Whatever you look at, you're going to hit. He said, what you need to do is look for the space Look for the, the road in which you're driving into because that's where you're going to go. And I remember this guy had to keep turning Tony's head because he kept looking at the wall and he had to keep turning his head so he wouldn't look at the wall and hit the wall. So focus on the spaces. Focus on the road in which you're traveling rather than the thing that you don't want to hit. Now the same is true for wealth. If you remain focused on the things that stand in your way, you are going to miss countless of opportunities. It's really easy to fixate on the things that stand in our way rather than the opportunities. There's always going to be roadblocks. Finding your way down the road to wealth requires some risk taking. So turn on your blinkers and keep moving forward into the openings because that's where you'll find the wealth. Obstacles will always come up, but don't keep focusing on those. Focus how to get around them. Focus on the road beyond them and that's where you'll find success. Okay, so tip number three is to take all the help that you can get. This is so important. So many of us are set on the idea that we have to make it on our own. 
In fact, some people make a point to tout their own doings and ignore the help that they had along the way. Very few things can truly be done by yourself. Now, humans are social animals and we rely emotionally on those around us. So not to mention for a transaction to happen and money to exchange hands and to flow back into your bank account, it takes several people along that chain. It actually takes a community. Now, what I recommend is if you have the opportunity, join a mastermind. Back in 2008, when uh, we first came to the US um, and we wanted to be mentored by someone who we knew could really help us. And uh, when we're at a, an event, uh, this guy mentioned that he was going to be launching a mastermind. Now, we had no money to pay for this mastermind, but I knew with every cell of my being that we had to be part of this group. And you know what? Even though we couldn't afford it, we found the money and we made the decision to move forward with this and it was one of the best decisions that we ever made. Because not only did we have the support of the people in the group, that we had the mentoring by the guy who was running the group, um, but we were able to tap into the mastermind and all those brains put together in that particular room. So join a mastermind, join a group, join a, a local business group, anything there you can where you can get some support because none of us do it alone. Okay, now before I go, I'd like to ask you, do you have any law of attraction tips that have helped you create wealth? Now, if you do, please share it here and share it with others because when you do, you are aligning yourself with the unlimited energy of money as you're helping others to create more as well. My name is Natalie Ledwell and stay tuned for a new release every Thursday and Saturday. Thanks for watching and bye for now.